Okay, so we are coming up in the Sunning Hill neighborhood at uh, Layla Mike Mikalski. Mikalski. We're gonna see Layla Mikalski today. We have a beautiful front lawn and a, a nice single driveway that uh, you could probably fit two cars in very comfortably. The backyard right now is open. The bushes are trimmed up nice. Whoa, is that a different person on the other side of that sign? It definitely is. It definitely is. Let's see who's on the other side. Who's this person? Layla on the other side. So I guess it's a, a duo. Last time I had a duo, the police was called. <laughs> Let's, uh, I guess we should take some sunglasses off. We don't, we don't need sunglasses on for this. Okay, so the front door is closed, but the backyard is open. I'm not sure if that means that we're more invited into the backyard, but, uh... Want to the doorbell? Uh, I think it's an open house. Okay. Hello? Hello? How are you doing? I'm okay. I don't want to be on the camera. Just... Oh, you don't have to be on the camera, no. No? That's totally okay. Yeah, we're just here for the open house. Okay. How are you liking the open house so far? Very good. What's the house listing as? 449. 449? Nice. And how long has it been on the market? Two days. Okay. Where's Layla and Natalie then? Are they are you uh, subbing in for them I'm today? Doing the open house for them. Okay, okay. But they're selling it. Yeah. But you are watching over the open house. Yeah. Okay, very nice, very nice. Um, any uh, specific features about this home that uh, you would recommend towards uh, new coming buyers? The nice um, you know, potential. For the house, the features, uh, new shingles, the new air conditioning, um, new uh, newer actually newer uh, furnace. And when you first came in here, what was the first thing on your mind that made you say, "Wow"? The age of the house. The age of the house. Yeah. How old do you think the house is? Yeah, it was built in 1940, uh, 1954. Okay, 1954. Wow. And uh, yeah, it looks like it. I like the mint carpet. You don't see that often anymore and the lamp. Well, let's uh, take a quick peek at what we have going on here today. How's the backyard? Do you like the backyard? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Okay, so look at this mirror. We got a beautiful mirror here. Oh, wow. And they painted this room salmon. This is the same color that uh, I painted my room in the beach house almost. So great view of the backyard here. We have a squirrel. Um, probably the local squirrel of uh, this area. Just hopping around. He's frolicking. I haven't seen a squirrel hop so much, actually. Now he's hopping into the garden. Which, uh, I know that some people don't like animals in their garden. Um, from my landscaping experience, they absolutely hate having animals in their garden. So you might need a fence if you buy this house to stop these two squirrels now um, going after your veggies or your herbs or whichever. But they are keeping the lawn in really good shape. There's only like one little weed so far, so excellent job. Uh, they painted their closet blue. Is this a laminate? Or, oh, this is a carpet. Wow, my glasses are off, so I can't really see detail. What are your thoughts, Kyle, on, um, on this room? Oh, you know what? It's just gorgeous. The color, perfect. Very bright. Very bright indeed. I wish they did all the walls the same color, personally. My house, before my parents renovated it, used to look exactly like this, with this like wood trim and this oldness, but they got rid of it. Okay, this is a closet too. Excellent closet. Also, great view of the backyard, uh, as we can see just from the other side here, probably 10 steps away from the last window. Um, the two squirrels are still doing their thing. Um, I wonder what kind of plants and vegetables they have in that garden. I will probably inquire on that. You get uh, the nice gold-plated uh, switches here, which is very important. They are like $6 each at Home Depot, if you're interested. So here we have the bathroom. So first thing right off the bat is if you get this house, you will have to immediately get a shower curtain, um, because otherwise you will be in a shower where uh, you aren't protected. It is walking though. It is a walk-in, yeah. Very like convenient for elderly. Very convenient. Does the water work? Water works. Very good. Got to always check like the water pressure, make sure. Yep. Got to check the hot too. Let's see if it warms up. Because this is what you don't check. It's like when you buy a car, you got to make sure that uh, everything is functioning. You got to always check your air conditioning, your uh, blinker fluid. Okay, it's not, oh, we're getting a bit of heat. Yep. Okay, the heater works. So that's good. Is this the, does this open up? No. That'd be sick if it did. Does this open up? Wow, look at that. You have your little medicine cabinet. That's a lot of medicine you can you fit in here. Fit tons of medicine in there. Yeah. Like, uh, you might need a stool, because I know not a lot of people will be able to reach this. This is like a full extension for me. Um, but, you know, sometimes it's nice to be considered when you're tall. I like that. And the toilet. 
Okay, there's not a lot of water in this toilet, I don't think, unless my glasses are prohibiting me from seeing. It flashes. Full flush? No? Okay, it's one where you have to hold it for a couple seconds. Oh, is it plugged? Come on, flash. It's not flashing. Okay, someone might have spray painted some porcelain. But there's a full roll, which is nice. Also gold plated. We had gold plated trim everywhere with the light switches. And uh, finally, we have the kitchen. Oh, check this out. You don't see this often. You have a phone. A landline is in this house. Does it work? 100% works. Okay, sweet. And uh, wow, that is, uh, that is very decorative. Is that, that's not wallpaper, is it? What would you call this, Kyle? It's oh, no, like a, sure, I think it might be wallpaper. You might, it might be wallpaper, yeah. Is this wallpaper in here? Is this wallpaper, do you think? Or is this like a, I don't know what the other words would be for this. this is a wallpaper, yeah. It's a wallpaper. See, I don't think people do this as much anymore. And the wallpaper is different from here to here. And what would you put in here, like a phone book for this phone, maybe? I don't know. Got lots of room for you. Oh, wow, this is a lot different than what I thought it would look like. But uh, I guess you might put your plates here, unless you put your plates on this side. Okay, so there's not a lot of room for your plates, unless you have like smaller to medium sized plates, because I don't think you'd use this. No, this would be silly. And, it, and the fridge is blocking it from opening fully. So you might have to make your fridge a bit shorter or fix those cabinets. Okay, so let's close these up. Because I know that uh, having a spot for your plates is important, unless you get to skip the dishes all the time. Then, like, this would be perfect. You don't have to fix anything. Look, another wallpaper is inside this cupboard. These guys had some spunk. It was very nice. Um, was it, uh, like, a single house owner for this house? Do you know anything about that? Like, was it owned a couple times? Well, they had some good style, I guess. Is there a Rob Golfie here? Rob Golfie's card? Nope. No, nope. Marion Pona. He's down the street, right? Is that you? That's, me. That's you. Oh my gosh, that is you. So you put your sign across the street, yeah? yeah. Is there another house down the street? Uh, no. It's this one. This you one. were just advertising that this was where you were. Okay, very nice. Very nice. How do you like the home? Very nice. Yeah? yeah. Has some potentials. That's exactly what yeah. uh, Marion was saying here. Looks like it's, uh, you know, really well structured. Yeah. Good older home. Yeah. Needs a little, you know, updating here and there. and Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Um, the spot for your plates, have you seen the, the cabinets for the cupboards in the kitchen here? The cabinets? Yeah, like these. Have you seen? There's not a lot of spot for your plates. What would you do with this? Would you just get smaller plates? Because that's not too deep. Oh, really? Yeah. No. Well, well, what are oh, your thoughts on it? Yeah. Yeah, that is quite... Uh, and then there's this. Wow. Check this out. That it's would be hard to reach. Yeah. It's hard to reach and it doesn't even open all the way. Yeah. But I'm sure we could fix that. Oh yeah. What are your thoughts on scale one to ten for the likelihood of buying this home? I would say probably about seven or eight. Yeah. Have yeah. you been to the neighborhood before? Like, are you from here? I've I've looked at open houses in the area here. Okay. Yeah. Very yeah. Nice. Quite a few. And uh, yeah, this one, you know. Be a bit of work scraping off all the wallpaper and everything for sure. <laughs> There's a lot of wallpaper. <laughs> Not my favorite job, but... Yeah, how do you like the backyard? It's nice. It has, you know, there's lots of room back there for a nice patio. Yeah. You know, patio area or something out the back too. Did you see what kind of vegetables are being grown in the garden? I didn't check that out. Okay. No. Because the squirrels were loving it. Yeah, we saw yeah. the squirrels running around for sure. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. I thought, well, there's some pets in the neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Okay, yeah. well, enjoy yourself. Thanks okay. for checking out the home. Thank you. And uh, yeah, enjoy Have the neighborhood. Yes, you too. All right, is this, that is a walk-in front hall closet. That's a, <laughs> look how big this is. <laughs> this is huge. You could like fully walk in here and grab your stuff. You can even close the door. Here, Kyle, watch this. The trench coats? Yeah, like no back problem. up. Check it. I'm just going to get my coat real quick. Look at this. Wow, I have all this space in here to grab my coat and you wouldn't even know I'm in here. So if you're a kid and you want to play hide and seek, oh, hello. <laughs> This is a great spot. Okay, is there a basement? Is it is that way to the basement? Check out the fan. Very nice fan. I like the color of it. Okay, we're almost done here, Miriam. Oh, we got some more people coming too. This is sick. So here's the basement. Let's just take a quick look at the basement. All right, yeah, let's watch the short ceiling on your way down here. Okay, we have a creepy bathroom by this mint laundry room, which is an interesting combination. Like, look at... That is... <laughs> that's really stuff that I feel a little uncomfortable 
in here. But let's check it out. The fan is on. There's a small shower. Which way does this door open? Okay, oh, wow. This is like a cubicle of a bathroom. It's uh, really creepy in here. I. <laughs> but does the toilet flush is the question. I'm gonna hold it this time. Okay, so far it's swirling. Swirling and, oh, it's, wow, that was a huge swirl at the end, but it did fully flush, which is good. Does my head clear? Okay, it is a bit of a stretch, but. Um, okay, we got a nice new washer. Is this new? That looks pretty new. That stainless steel makes it look like it's a bit more modern compared to that guy, at least, in this uh, tub. Very, wow, look at this, too. This is crazy. There's a lot of mint in here, which I like. A lot of mint. I, uh, whoa, this is... Yeah, it does. I'm kind of a little spooked by this green carpet here. Oh, we, there's people walking in the backyard. Wow, this is a little strange. This is... Yeah, this is a room for sure. <laughs> in the basement. And not gold-plated on the uh, covers here. So there's uh, a bit of an inconsistency, but it is $5, $6 per switch cover. Okay, and then finally, here's the new furnace that Marion was talking about over here. There's this guy. So if you have your HVAC, uh, leave a comment and tell me what you think about this furnace. We have uh, a quoted airflow side, so I guess that's where the air flows. Um, shout out to Shiptons for putting this furnace in here. And Coleman. I guess they collabed on this furnace. Weird seeing Coleman on this. I have not seen one that looks like that. And we have uh, some tin foil, which is great. All right, and then uh, you might need to fix this. Is that asbestos in there? So uh, I guess finally we would just have to check out the backyard here. Beautiful home. Okay, we have light. We have white switches for the light switches in here. That is a bit of a tongue twister. Shoe change. Cameraman Kyle putting on his shoes. Are those Doc Martens? Yeah. Nice. Gifted to me. Well, they're gifted to you, eh? Oh, yeah. That's nice. Yeah, they're sweet boots. Oh, some brown-eyed Susans on the neighbor's property. I think uh, the people that I initially saw have left already, but let's uh, inquire on this garden bed here that the squirrels like so much. Now the squirrels are gone. Oh, air conditioning, also by Shiptons. The plants over in that garden the squirrels aren't really interested in, but it's these guys. There's actually no vegetables here. It's just weeds. These are all different varieties of weeds that could be mint over there or just an interesting looking weed. Or it could be poison ivy because I know poison ivy is like three leaves. The fence line is very short around here, so you don't have much privacy from your neighbors. Like if you do a full 360 here, Kyle, a nice slow one, yeah, like you are fully exposed to your neighbors. Unless on this side you're a bit more sheltered. Uh, you have this nice little tree that's freshly spruced up, followed by these two dead bushes here. Um, and then like there's your neighbors all along here and you can say hello. The barbecue's right there. They probably pass hot dogs to each other when they barbecue at 5 p.m. I don't want tan naked here. No, there's no tanning naked here, that's for sure. Is the shed open? Wow, it is. Okay, so here we have a shed. That, that one's locked. Very spacious shed. Good shelving. Uh, your compost is in here. Anyways, yeah, you could probably rent this out to someone if you want to help pay for the home. You could definitely fit a bed in here. I know people would be interested in the tiny shed life. And uh, you have access to the hose right outside this shed, so if you need some running water, you could probably just feed that right into your shed, which is great. We gotta see if the hose works. I forgot to check that. Because just because you see something doesn't mean it works. Okay, so it looks like it's not connected to the hose. Okay, I'm turning it on. Absolutely nothing. There's nothing there, Kyle. Be a deal yeah, it's totally. <laughs> How are you supposed to water your weeds in your garden if the hose doesn't work? That's probably why they stopped trying on their garden out here. But yeah, that, that hose is not turning on. Okay, so now we know. Never assume that the hose works at a house. Okay, I think we have some new potential buyers pulling up. Just in time. Does this hose work? Let's see if the, does the doorbell work. Doorbell, I didn't hear anything. I heard nothing. So there's this hose right here. Oh geez, it's a little tight. Okay, so far, nothing, that's wide open. I don't know if it's like a, nope, nothing. I'm gonna turn that back off there. How you guys doing? Good, how are you doing? Good, are you guys looking at this home? Do you guys live here? No. You looking? Yeah. All right, what do you think, uh, as your first impression of this house, what brought you here? Oh, location. It's a great area. Yep. Yeah. Great yeah. location. Oh, yeah. Are you from around here? Uh, from Burlington. Nice. Yeah. Good transition. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Very nice. What's bringing you to Hamilton? Oh, actually, we like the way it's growing. We like the way it's developing. We always wanted to live on the mountain, so. Definitely. Well, yeah. welcome. Enjoy the home. Marion's in there, not these two ladies on the front. So don't oh, be okay. disappointed when you see a man in there. Okay. Okay. How's it going, neighbor? How are you doing? 
Good. Uh, is this neighborhood great? And what do you think of uh, your neighbor moving out? Uh, sad. Good. Sad? Would you mind saying some words? Uh, You're good? Okay, but good neighbor. Good neighbor, good neighborhood. Are you looking forward to the new neighbor? Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, should be good. Should be great. Okay, what's your dog's name? Uh, Harley. Harley. Yeah. Okay, well, Thanks. have fun. Afternoon. You guys are getting new neighbors. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Are you excited? Yes. yes? I'm excited too. All right, well, uh, Natalie Mikalski and, uh, and Layla Mikalski. Oh, they're sisters. Okay, so they, they are related, I would assume. Mikalski, you can't really, uh, that's not really a coincidence that they'd have the same last name if they weren't related. Oh, let's see if this person will stop and say a few words. How's it going? Hey, what's up? Hey, so what do you think about uh, this neighborhood? Yeah? yeah? Is it good? Uh, you're getting a new neighbor over here. Oh, awesome. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Neighbors are good. That's excellent. Yeah. What's this about? Oh, this is uh, the Evan Shell. Oh, hi, Evan. Hello, that's me. <laughs> I'm nice pleased to meet, to meet you. Melissa? How long have you lived in this neighborhood? Um, well, let me pull over to the side. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah, pull on over. Let's let's not do this in the middle of the road here. That's Maybe we should just go in the middle of the road and make life easier for her. Oh, yep. <laughs> if you want to come out, you can, or if you want to stay there, that's cool, too. Uh, yeah, no, I just got to run out. I'm on my way to pick up my daughter, actually. Oh, yeah. true, true, true. Nice, wholesome family activity, for sure. It's yeah. a very friendly neighborhood. Yeah, so you just moving in, or...? Uh, no, I'm not moving in. We're just seeing the new people that are moving in. Oh. And talking to the neighborhood, and feeling out what Hamilton's all about, really. Oh, okay. You're not from Hamilton? No, I am. I am. Born and raised. Oh, awesome. Have a wonderful day. You too. <laughs> all right. Okay, so... Don't let your dreams be dreams. How'd you guys like the house? Good, bad, scale of one to 10? It was okay. Okay, well have a good one guys. All right, so that pretty much uh, covers it. Um, I'll see you next time on Crashing Open Houses and uh, pursuit you love and stay minty.